how busy you are, you're required to inspect your vehicle for defects at least daily before placing it in service. Or if your vehicle operates around the clock, at the end of every shift. Given the heavy loads a forklift carries, even a small defect can lead to a serious crash. Always follow inspection guidelines from the forklift manufacturer and your employer. Using a checklist helps ensure that you don't miss any critical steps and gives you peace of mind that your unit is ready to roll. Complete your inspection in two parts. Your pre-operation or walk-around inspection usually starts with examining the tires to see that they're in good condition. Next, inspect cables, belts, and hoses for defects or signs of excessive wear, such as cracks, pinholes, or leaks. Look for irregularities like cracks, dents, or broken welds in the forks, backrest, mast, and overhead guard. Better to find that problem now than when you've got 5,000 pounds on your forks. Check fluid levels. Look for signs of leaks. Finally, before you move on to the second part of the inspection, make sure you can read the nameplate and any warning labels. Forklift inspections are critical uh, for the safe operation of a forklift. What you want to do is you want to check the oil, the hydraulic, the lights, the horn, all the features of that forklift to make sure they're working properly. Next up, the operational inspection. When you mount a forklift, always face the unit and use three points of contact, typically both hands and one foot as you climb aboard. Check the seat belt and fasten it securely. If the unit has a seat belt or lap bar, you're wise and required to use it. It's very important to wear a seat belt. Uh, it keeps you situated to your seat. Going over bumps, it keeps you tight so you're not moving around. Um, going around a sharp corner so you're not sliding from side to side keeps you in control of the forklift. When you make frequent stops, you always have to wear your seatbelt on and off all day. It only takes one mistake to cost you your life. Give the horn a try. Is it working? You'll need it at intersections and whenever your vision's obstructed. Is safety equipment in good working order? If all is well up to this point, power up. Always start a forklift from the seat or operator's position. Look over the gauges, lights, and battery or fuel levels. Make sure controls are clearly labeled and working smoothly. Check out the lift, lower, and tilt controls. Do all the lights work? Does the brake pedal stop the vehicle smoothly and reliably? With pedestrians around and your own safety in the balance, you don't want to take any chances. Test the parking brake. Check the steering. Is there too much free play or stiffness? Will you have the control you need? Now move the unit forward a few feet and inspect the floor. Leaks could indicate a problem with the hydraulics, not to mention that they're a slipping hazard. What about the exhaust? Are there sparks or flames? Any unusual noises? If you found anything wrong during your inspection, note it according to your company's procedures and don't operate the unit until it's fixed by authorized personnel. Okay, you've completed your inspection and the unit's in good shape. Time to get to work. <laughs>